like we had um, 900 RSVPs. Wow. We are not prepared. I'm Sherry Drager. I'm the VP of Marketing for Millican Floor Covering Division. I'm Todd Vanderkrijk. I'm VP of Global Design for Millican Floor Covering. We're at the old Marshall Fields Distribution Center, and we're here in the very raw space as this is being redeveloped. So it's a really exciting place to be. The rawness kind of adds to this creative element that we're hoping to really unveil today. On Monday night of Neocon, we are going to host an event we're calling Above and Below. We're gonna have four artists in the space painting live. It's not something you can completely predict or plan for, you know, so we're just kind of setting the parameters and building the box and then we're gonna let these artists in and they're gonna, you know, hopefully blow it up somehow. They have huge presence all over Chicago and we're kind of uniting them with the medium of carpet. There's four different artists. We've got Emmy Star Brown, uh, a brilliant muralist. Her stuff is really modern and abstract, and she's recently gotten into textiles. We've got Tubzilla. He's incredible calligraphy artist. It's kind of intense and bold and really kind of edgy. Stuck One is an artist who is more traditional, spray paint, can graffiti kind of an artist. We've got Liz Flores, and she does these beautiful, amazing, very graphic, human-centered art pieces. Four very different people with different, unique perspectives kind of coming together and you know, doing something that they've never done before, working with carpet as a material. We're nervous about everything. Well, it's empty. Well, yeah, it's empty right now. It's 6 a.m. on the morning of the event, so we're starting super early. So now the pressure is on. We gotta get this built. Um, we gotta make this happen. It's guaranteed that I die legend. Yeah, son, God, homie, I'm ready. Great, just protecting my investment. Escobar, my integrity's not a question. Straight up, all the way up, with the same ones that was down from the jump. They were same ones, been around when the ain't Over the past 10 years of working with Ravenswood, we've put some really crazy concepts in front of them. They never back down, they never shy away. And look at Ravenswood's attention to detail. They're mudding, because they don't want to see the seams. Tubbs is going here. Yeah, Emmy, Ryan, Liz. As I think back on what this week represents, you know, it, it was always this idea of coming together to see great ideas and new things and people pushing boundaries. You know, Milliken wants to be a collaborator with not only design, but fashion, with art, with color. This week is a really great opportunity to do that. We're really trying to set a precedence that ties Milliken into this creativity and artistry and how the people and our, our team in the field can kind of bring that in to people's projects that they're working on. So I know this is just kind of like a, a demo sketch. You know, just I've showed them a couple sketches I've been working on, focusing on like the sustainability side of what they're doing. They're big on trees and they have an arboretum on their campus. To be honest, like how many people have you ever heard painting on carpet? It's kind of cool, it's almost historical in a way. What we wanted to show was, you know, what we could do to capture, you know, some fine line yeah. stuff, and also like the fades that you had in here. It looks great, honestly. I have realized when I include messaging within my murals and paintings, people tend to interact with them in a different way. They really kind of sit with the message and try to digest it a little bit more uh -huh. and kind of make I'm super excited to work with them. It's kind of been a goal of mine to expand my work to new mediums. I'm feeling really impressed by their printing capabilities, but also the colors they're able to achieve. I work in a lot of vibrant colors. I like bringing in fluorescence. Yeah, I feel excited that they're able to replicate 
the colors I typically use, and then I'll be layering paint over that. Well, it's such a big initiative for us to, you know, the for hum humankind messaging mm -hmm. yeah. kind of ties into all the sustainability Definitely. messaging. I kind of love like this kind of like female. I'm super excited to work with them. It was really, really cool to see just all the samples and to kind of get an idea of like how the artwork can be printed and manipulated. So yeah, I'm excited. How can I create texture on there? Um, like if some of it is printed, obviously it's printed. The carpet is super interesting because we have a whole bunch of different samples. So I've been playing around with just adding paint, trying to do some line work um, and some straight uh, you know, edges and things like that on the different carpet. They've been so just open to the process, which I think is always really nice when you're partnering with a company is that they trust your vision and they're gonna help you bring that to life. I love the idea of this being like sort of community. Yeah. But I also love this hand, like yeah. coming right through here, like yeah. that just like grabs me. I don't know if you had something that was just, we wanted like super like hard hitting or use our cool with kind of like that texture, very, you know, expressive on the, on the move feel, like that graffiti element to it. So meeting with the Millican team was pretty cool. Uh, really good vibes from both of them. I didn't know what to expect, you know, coming into the room. So I'm pretty confident about the live painting part. I've done a couple other events. So it's like a give and take almost. You, you know, you're, you're giving the creativity, the energy, and the people are kind of like feeding it back to you. We're cool with what is speaking to you. If you like the combination of having those, that'd be an option. None of us know each other, right? We've talked a little bit on Zoom, and, but being able to work with people that you like is really important, especially to Sherry and I. You know, we want to collaborate with people that are enthusiastic about what they're doing and love what they do because we do also. I think we're blown away. I mean, we knew these guys were good. I mean, come on, we picked them, right? Like, we knew they were amazing. That ability to riff and build and see the momentum, but make sure that it's really genuine and authentic. We actually have a fifth artist. Our mixologist is a gentleman named Tim, and he's from a company that he owns called Poured Souls. And he's going to be working with each artist, finding out a little bit about them, a little bit about their work, and he's gonna come up with a specialty cocktail signature to each artist, and we'll be serving those that night. Awesome. This looks a little different than when we left it. <laughs> We're probably within an hour of everything actually starting to happen. I mean, it's crazy that it all, this morning, this whole space was empty. Everything came in and it's all put together and I mean, there were hiccups and not everything went right, but uh, the way it turned out, I think I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I feel like we're ready for whatever happens. I would define my work as abstract, feminine, kind of manipulation of like the female body. I would say my art journey started as a little kid. Both my parents are artists. My father showed me uh, a lot more of the traditional artwork. My mother actually showed me calligraphy as a young kid. And then when I stepped into the street, I was introduced to graffiti. I, I was a kid just running around writing on stuff that wasn't mine. Part of like one of the things I enjoy about public art is the interaction from people I would never have a conversation with a day in my life. I was interested in learning calligraphy, completely self-taught. Painting and murals is definitely the core of what I do. The concept for my paintings is the inner child. I love the idea of people reconnecting with parts of their younger selves that are often lost. We were thinking, like, it would be great if we had, like, 200 people. We're right at, like, 1,000 RSVPs. High-class problem to have. I just wanna have fun. Got me 
overall sensory experience, high energy. We want people to really enjoy the night and to come away feeling like they saw something unique and really say, like, that was epic. Art is freedom. Art is mine, is yours, and is everyone's. Art is risky. Art is for everybody. Art is love. Art is anything you want it to be.